Child of Eden has been available on the Xbox 360 for some time now, but PlayStation 3 users have had to wait for their chance to enter Eden. But that wait is now over. At its core, Child of Eden is an on-rail shooter, but its clever implementation of motion controls, rhythm game elements and psychedelic visuals turn it into a multi-sensory experience rather than just a game. Child of Eden is set inside a futuristic version of the internet and sees you trying to save the first AI born within Eden from an evil virus attack. If this makes no sense to you, then don't worry because after the opening live-action cutscene, the story becomes almost irrelevant. There is a mind killer. A mind killer. Child of Eden is the spiritual successor to the cult classic Res, and is very similar in many ways. The game is played using a combination of your two weapons that are used not to destroy, but to purify nasty viruses. You have a lock-on weapon that allows you to target up to 8 enemies before releasing your purifying attacks, and a tracer, which is a new rapid-fire weapon that is mainly used for shooting down incoming lethal projectiles. You will have to rapidly switch between both weapons to succeed, but you shouldn't ever get confused, as you will quickly learn which colours and shapes should be targeted by each weapon. You also have Euphoria that can be used to clear the screen in a stunning fashion when things start to get overwhelming. Child of Eden can either be played with the PlayStation Move or the standard DualShock 3 controller, and this is where the PlayStation 3 version of the game is arguably better than the Xbox 360's. While playing using the Kinect might be the most immersive way to play Child of Eden, its lack of precision and slight delay means that you're forced to play with a controller if you want to get a high score on the Xbox 360. On the other hand, the PlayStation Move's fast and accurate controls means that it's both immersive and the most effective way to play on either platform. Controlling Child of Eden on the PlayStation Move is simple and feels totally natural after just minutes of playing. Child of Eden has five main stages and a challenge mode level that's unlocked once the game's been completed. Each different level has its own art style and audio backdrop that makes each one stand out from the others. Despite the fact that a competent player can complete the game in less than an hour, like Rez there is a huge amount of unlockables to be discovered by replaying levels. You can unlock concept art, sound effects, visual effects, and even some pop music videos. There are three different difficulties for you to choose from. Normal, Hard, and Feel Eden. Hard mode doesn't alter the actual gameplay, but all damage taken is doubled, while in the Feel Eden mode it is impossible to lose. The combination of the stunning visuals, pulsating controller vibrations, and the fantastic dynamic soundtrack gives you a sensory overload that can deliver huge emotional highs that you simply won't get in any other type of game. And if this alone isn't enough of a draw to make you want to replay levels, then your competitive edge might keep you hooked as you attempt to beat your high scores. Locking onto 8 enemies at a time then releasing on the beat will give you score multipliers that are crucial if you want to get high up on the online leaderboards. This means that to be successful in Child of Eden, you don't just need fast reactions and accurate movements, you also need a good sense of rhythm. At first, everything might feel slightly overwhelming, resulting in you missing some projectiles within the mass of on-screen effects, or losing your timing with the multi-layered dance tracks, but with practice, everything will become clear, and trying to fine-tune your playstyle to improve your score is very rewarding. The PlayStation 3 version also features a stereoscopic 3D option 
that will help to enhance the sense of immersion, especially when played in combination with the PlayStation Move. Child of Eden stands out as something totally unique and is one of the best demonstrations of how motion-controlled games can be both accessible and deep. It didn't leave the same lasting impression on me as its prequel Res did, and its short length might put some people off. But few other games can draw you in so totally to the extent that you're completely unaware of your surroundings. It is a well-presented display of beautiful artwork, inspired music and focused gameplay that combine to make something truly special that has to be played to be fully realised. And costing only £15 new in the UK, Child of Eden is a must-buy for anyone that owns a PlayStation Move.